this is about you interacting. Um, so what I'd like you to do then is open up your devices, <laughs> open up your phones, and open up Slido, because I want you to answer a question for me. And that question is, what is your favorite RDM-related tool resource? Engagement otherwise, and why? Oh, back to the link. Okay, the link Slido. Slido. You may not need to put the hash in. I never remember that or not. But the hash is there. Hopefully, it's showing the right thing. It is. Yes, polls. Okay, this is what you want. This is the first poll. Okay, so. Give you a few seconds to start typing. Now, I warn you, these questions will only be open for a brief period. <laughs> oh my God, so, oh my God. <laughs> start typing. <laughs> well, it gives me a chance to get my computer back in. Okay. And hopefully I'll be able to see what you're typing in a second as well. So, carry on typing as we talk. Um, so what are we talking about? This sort of toolkit. What is a toolkit? Well, hopefully you'll tell me because we've been typing all those questions and stuff. In. So basically, this is the sort of thing it used to be. A series of old resources up on the net, which um, essentially people found out of date very quickly. Uh, didn't get repaired, didn't get updated, and so on. Uh, you've all seen pages up on the net with no dates on them that sort of look quite dated, the old CSS and stuff like that, horrible stuff. So I'm looking for something different. The next type of resource toolkit up there was everyone putting up their signposts and stuff. Um, anything, everything around the net. Again, slight problem. Links break. Uh, you're not quite sure whether the resource actually relates to what you're trying to do and so on. So signposting does come into it, but it's not necessarily the be all and end all. The next sort of thing would be um, a whole series of signposts and links. So some of you might recognize this from the Research Data Network website. I'm supposed to be in charge of this. <coughs> um, it's a little out of date already. Sorry. It's the problem. The resource to actually update this, and I'll come back to this whole concept of resources and stuff in, in a bit as well. So that's, that's the, the URL, in case you want to go and look at it. And I'm going to try and uh, show it to you as well. Which is rather clever. Living dangerously. Let's see if I can get it up on here without killing this. If I can find it. Uh, it was one of them I did have earlier on. Is that one? Yes. And there we go. Oh, no, not that one. That one. That's the one. OK, now the problem with this one is it's um, not very interactive, not very useful in terms of, you've got lots of resources and stuff out there, but it's, it's already out of date. Um, it's difficult to find the thing you want. It's not really well classified. Now, those of you who um, were involved with my um, uh, workshop um, focus group earlier on will understand that I was talking about how you might categorize these things in terms of um, who they're useful to and what they're about and stuff like that. So Jess has been looking at this whole concept of a research data management toolkit. And we actually asked um, research consulting. And we have research consulting representative here, Andrea, up there, Wade, who is actually working on this for us. And he's listening very carefully to everything that you're saying to me, because you're typing lots of questions, of course, to make sure that the information that comes up is uh, useful and feeds into what he's doing. So this is a, a typical sort of toolkit, um, which I consider to be not very good. You know, it's got stuff up there, links to Zenodo and stuff like that. 
and in theory it's there forever, but never, never quite sure. Okay, back to the thing if I can get it up. Whoops, too far. Hey. Okay, so, and that's the, um, the URL. The next thing I'm going to try and show you, which is a visualization of how the whole concept of interesting stuff about resource data management might be linked. Now, I'm going to try and show this to you live. Again, I'm living very dangerously here because I'm like that. And if I can find the right thing, I think it's that one. Yes. Okay. So this is something that research consulting put together for us as, as how these things might be linked. And I'm going to try and zoom in a bit there if I can get the right thing coming up. And this is based around some pretty, whoops, too far, hey, pretty standard basic concepts about research data management and how those concepts might be broken down for various people. And it, it does all sorts of snaggy things which I have no idea exactly how they work because, oh, activated focus. I don't know what that means. Uh, click away from that. Yay. There you are. Focus on a bit and it shows you, for instance, training and updating. These are things that we think might be of interest in that particular area which relates to the RDM as a whole blob. So it's a nice way of looking at things, but um, uh, well, perhaps you might want to look at it some other time. As I say, this is all about a bit of fun. So I'm trying to get on to the other more interesting bits, which is the next question. So the audience for this toolkit Library staff, yeah, almost certainly. IT staff, research support staff, researchers, others. If you can think of others, do please see Andrea after school and give them your details. And audience and areas. Well, well, we've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of those. If I keep pressing the button, it'll stop here. Yeah, all sorts of stuff like this. But again, if you can think of any particular research areas and disciplines and so on that might be useful, then again, we'd like to know from you because this is what we want to end up with. I got five minutes. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to be so quick. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. This is where I try and do the interactive business here and get the next question up, if I can. So, are you ready on the... Can't go, wait. Go. That's it. The next question. Okay, the next question for you to answer is how should such a kit be maintained? Now, this is my big bugbear about all these kits, is that... Someone puts some seed funding in there and they stick it up on the web and it just sits there. That is not sustainable. Now, there are a number of, of ways that something like this might be sustained. Uh, we talked about this earlier on today in, in the focus group. Someone at the top funds it. How do you persuade them to fund it? I put to you that this should be a community thing. But... Is that necessarily sustainable? Would the community take part? Would they do something like this? I mean, and again, your, the mechanisms of how a community might actually do that, that's all sort of a problem. But so I want suggestions from the floor, please. Type away in your sliders. How could such a kit, how could, how should such a kit be maintained? You've got a few seconds to type these in. So go on, type, 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 type. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a concept that um, research consulting put together for us about how such a toolkit might work. And again, living dangerously, I'm gonna try and show you this demo live, if I can. Whoops, wrong one. Um, hey, there we go. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, so a particular way it might, be, might work for us, so you might start off in the home page. You might be a researcher, walk your way through. And this looks a little bit sexier than the um, research data network site. But it's quite a lot of law emits in there still, but still. <laughs> Do you think this sort of thing is useful? I would be interested to know. Please see me after school. Please see Andrea after school. Is this the sort of thing you might use, might find uh, practical in your day-to-day -day life? Okay, we're about to get on to the last question because they're going to wave queens at me again in a minute. Uh, like two minutes, Lauren. Okay, fine. I thought I was going to be quick, quick, quick. Okay, whoops. Uh, the last question. So back there again, Slido. What do we need in it? So I'm going to leave this last question running so you can keep typing as we go on and on and on. 
What tools and resources? So what particular tool, resource, does it for you? I mean, you saw that list that scroll up rapidly up the page. I mean, it's loads of stuff. I want to know everything that you think should be in there. More to point, Andrea wants to know everything that should be in there because he's going to be doing it. So type, 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 type. And that's basically, I'll leave that question up. That's basically me. So if you want to ask me questions, find a little bit of fun before we get into the panel bit, now is your chance. <laughs> Marry your word. Okay. So either I was very boring, I was incoherent, or I did it so well that you'd have no questions. I prefer to think of the latter. Oh, I didn't know that. That was my yeah. question. <laughs> because I have no idea how to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm quite paranoid about passwords, and I can't type my password into this machine because I can't. It's all uppercase and lowercase and stuff like that. I, I will circulate the answers later. <laughs> Believe me. So, can you do you that? Can, can you can see them off this slide, and tweet them? I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do a screen grab and a tweet. Okay. okay. Yeah, just, just do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. You could look on your tablet. Hmm? You could look on your tablet. Yeah, I, could look, look, I could look at the tab to see all the questions. Oh, I can't look at the tab. <laughs> um, did he, did he go away? Oh, put off the stuff. Let's put the cancel out, get that out of the way. Okay, um, DMPs, how to sign on file format engagement, links to funder guidelines, data archive, date online, oh, it's all sorts of stuff, yeah. RDM planning resources, oh, that's a popular one, always popular. Links to funder guidelines, yeah. Online educational material, as many contacts as possible. I like that one. Uh, Step-by-step -step guides. Oh, we've got loads of stuff here for you, Andre. You're going to love this. Zenodo. Oh, good stuff. Yes. Um, and it's still scrolling. Yeah. Thank you very much for all that input. That's great. Fantastic. Jochen Bauer is saying well. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Paul. Okay.